For this project, I'm milling down some oak that I had laying around and some black walnut. Oak is being milled down to quarter inch, black walnut down to half inch. And I'm going to be making something I could probably buy for less money. It would probably be easier, but why build something when you have wood laying around that you can actually make something out of? This is going to be a uh, pad for my laptop. So when I'm sitting on the couch, I can uh, keep the laptop off my lap and not burn my legs because of the heat that uh, comes off the bottom of it. And here I'm just getting the final uh, trimming done on it and getting it set to start cutting it down to the pieces that I need for the project. The fun part of all of this is always figuring out how you want the boards to look once you glue them together for the slabs. These are intended to be the top and bottom. However, you'll notice uh, into the video I actually changed my design ideas and uh, ended up uh, doing things a little bit differently than what I first had in mind. Here I'm just marking out the where I want the rabbits on the sides to be so that I can be able to have everything flush mounted and inset into the sides of the uh, laptop pad. Using my router to cut out the rabbits, I know this could have been done on a table saw. However, with the angle on the uh, on one end of it, I felt this would give me a cleaner uh, cut, and I'd have a little more control over making sure that the rabbits were cut appropriately. And now for the first part of the test fit, which is going to take multiple steps, just to make sure that I've got everything even, I've got the rabbits cut to the proper depth, and everything matches up the way I want it to.
And now for design change number one. Instead of using a solid piece for the top, I decided to split it up into smaller, hopefully more manageable uh, sections and still produce the same look that I wanted instead of having to cut everything out of a um, solid uh, board that I had glued together. I'm going to be using half laps to put everything together in here. I'm just marking out the wood, finding out how long I need it to be, where I need to place the half laps, and how many pieces that are going to be joined together. I believe this is how you uh, find out that your dado bit needs to be replaced, that it's becoming a little bit dull. I don't think you're supposed to be seeing smoke coming off your router bits when you're uh, cutting dados into a piece of wood. After more trimming, more test fitting, more recutting, now I have what is going to be the back support for the laptop, which will allow an open area for the vents and uh, hopefully be able to uh, provide a little bit better cooling than what I had been using.
Here you can see another design change with the back. Instead of having the back of it rabbited, I decided to go ahead and put a put it where it's a little more flush, a little more even, and then cut some um, release in the back so that I can help with more airflow coming out. Adding in another piece um, in here in the middle at a 45 degree angle. This helps to keep stuff from rolling or sliding into the underneath of it, um, underneath that first portion, and uh, intended to see if that will help with moving air out, um, giving it kind of a direction for it to flow. And now it's time for everybody's favorite portion of any kind of woodworking, watching everything get glued together and uh, the myriad different uh, sections that I have to glue individually, clamp them together, wait for them to dry before I can move on to the next uh, portion of it. I'm speeding this up as much as possible so you can still see what I'm doing but make it less boring as well. I completely forgot to turn on my camera to record this portion, but I decided to add a couple of slide out trays. Uh, one that I can uh, put the mouse on when I'm not using it and see if that's something that would be of use or something that would be helpful for this particular project. I decided to add some of the outdoor carpet that I have left over from two of the other uh, cat projects that I uh, did just to give it a little bit of a cushion on the bottom, make it a little more comfortable. Um, I'm using a spray-on adhesive and then uh, trimming everything down so that it matches the um, bottom of the uh, laptop tray.
if you like the things that I'm building and trying to build and some of the ideas that I'm uh, showing with uh, my videos, please like and share uh, these videos so I can grow my channel. I would love to be able to get more subscribers and show more people what can be done, um, help them with their creativity. And hopefully stuff that I'm making helps you go, you know, with your own creativity and ideas of what to do as well. If we can get this uh, channel growing, that would be absolutely wonderful, and I will be grateful for any help that I can get. Time to add some of the Black Forest Wood Company um, wood oil on here. Uh, this has definitely become one of my favorites. I really like that it keep how it keeps the natural uh, color of the wood and uh, still provides a very good protection for whatever it is that I'm building. And uh, once everything is applied, I'll get it all buffed out, remove all the excess, and let it dry overnight. And here's the final product. Uh, it worked out fairly well. There are some things I'm going to change and design it a little bit differently. And I hope this gives you uh, an idea of something that you can do as well. But thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video.